Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning September 25th, 2023. I'm going to explain some offerings. They are new to some of you. Here in the beginning, we will do a general overview and that is for everybody. So don't skip ahead. That is for everybody. <laughs> okay. And then when you get to the end of that, you can take a deep breath in, feel out whether group one, two, or three is calling to you. And that is an additional message for you. I think I will also make a separate video explaining some of the offerings and the updates around that. First and foremost, I have my standard reading offering. Those can be booked through angelsouls444.com. At this point, if you want your 1010 reading, you can't do it standard, okay? You'd have to do it via a live platform because there's no way I could get it to you in time. So I do have live readings at the moment, and I have... Uh, which are at a different price point. I also have a live one hour course on how to connect with your angels. All of these sessions are tailored to you and your needs. So for everybody, it's different. So we'll go in there, see if there are any blocks to having you communicate with your angels. We clear those away. It's a one-on-one -on -one training session. Okay. So there's that. And then I have the angel mediumship course, which has been super popular I'm being very careful about who I teach that to because I want it to be done very ethically, but I don't think many of you are going to be problematic with that. So <laughs> as long as you have really good intentions, we're good. Now that course, it's a four one hour uh, course package. You can purchase it as a package or you can buy each individual one. However you want to do that, completely fine. You can use that for personal reasons or professionally as well. So for all of those, the live sessions, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. We can talk about pricing, availability, what you're looking for. And that's why I have you email me so we can go back and forth about that. Payment has to be made once it's scheduled or it doesn't get scheduled. All right. So it's not one of these things. Well, oh, I'm just going to hold a place and you take it away from someone else. And you don't pay. I hope you can understand. Okay. So there's all that. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, just let me know down below or you can email me, whatever you want to do. Okay. So there's all of that. Let's get into the message for this week. Do some deep breathing. You know, it's interesting. So this could be a week of breakthroughs, but it's because you're fed up and not taking it anymore. So if someone has been disrespectful, you're not taking it anymore. If, um, you know, just a lot of obstacles keep getting in your way, you are looking at why that is occurring and doing something about it, taking some bit of action. So that's good. That's wonderful. All right. Let's get us some cards here. We have five of earth. Okay, so let's talk about this. Fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. This is that type of thing where, you know, we all get so brave when we're fed up and we want to just strike out on our own. And this might be one of the reasons why you don't, right? Or this could also be feeling like you're rejected. Here's the thing. And yes, it could be around money as well. But, you know, whether that's rejected at work, I don't know, maybe you have something where you have a partner and you're splitting uh, housing uh, expenses or about the noise in the background, you're splitting costs and things like that. And maybe they're backing out, a roommate backs out or something along those lines. So that could have you kind of, oh, wait a second. But this is also saying the follow-up then is to make sure you're not forgetting yourself, okay? Don't let worries get you so scrambled that you forget that you can get yourself through it. Does that make sense? All right. So then we have queen of air. <laughs> See, this is finding your power, independent, experienced, realistic, witty, objective decision-making, clearing away all that no longer serves you. That's the big take home with this. We, it's like, okay, we're not doing this. How did I get myself into this? I'm no longer going to be fearful. Uh, clearing away all that no longer serves you. Seeing the humor in a situation. This is especially helpful if someone has, or is trying to get you to overthink. We live in a very narcissistic world that has been normalized, that type of behavior, so much so that we don't even see it, right? So if someone's trying to get you in a scramble and maybe they're critical of you, but they're criticizing you for doing things that actually you don't do, but they do, it's called projection. Uh, 
you're looking at it very clearly. I don't know if you can see there, but she's got like a, what I would say is a crystal ball. And she's remembering her power. Now, this isn't power as in, wah -ha -ha, I could destroy your life. <laughs> it's not that. This is, I have the energetic power in this situation. And I don't need to let anything drag me down. All right. So then you have balance. This is helping you find your balance again. I'm telling you, someone may have come and put some fear in you that something wasn't going to work out or um, someone working against you, perhaps. But again, it's like, it, it feels like children playing games. Right? So you don't have to worry about that. You can get back into your own power, okay, and get into this balance. So we have the number 14 reduces to five. We always talk about that being the number of change. This is also, I, to me, it's a, a number of potentially clearing. You feel me? So if something is really like just building up, building up, building up, instead of allowing energy vampires to take your energy, for example, instead of allowing people to turn the tables on you, feed off you, whatever the case may be, or put fear in you, whatever it is, you can come back to this. The five then becomes this, um, <laughs> like just this, uh, I was going to say trash compactor, which is such a dumb example. That's why I was trying to figure out a better example. I didn't, I don't have one. Trash compactor. So it just kind of like whatever the trash and the gunk is, it just kind of goes in and gets cleared away. <laughs> all right. So balance Archangel Zadkiel. Zadkiel is all about transmutation. So taking something and making it into something better. Uh, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. So for some of you, you might have been in a situation that you just want to run away from. Oh, I almost dropped the deck. What is with me dropping the deck? I'm going to sit right here next to me so she can't go nowhere, okay? <laughs> so this whole thing is like we we think the solution is to hurry up and get through it or to push on something to get the solution. I can tell you right now, things that have bothered me in my day-to-day -day life, uh, money things or you know, trying to move, trying to find a new home, you know, all of that. I'm like, oh, I'm so sick of thinking about it. Let's just sit down, take care of it and make it happen. Never works. <laughs> it never works. You don't get people calling you back or in my case, the home has already been taken or, you know, just all of these things could start popping up. When you're in your balanced state and it really does come down to trusting the universe with your whole being, Okay trusting that okay if that didn't work out then that wasn't the right thing for me something is going to open up okay that's that's part of that balance and not allowing anything to steal your peace that's a big one ace of earth so you start out this week with this five of earth like oh no how is it going to work out how is it going to work out you get your power back you come back into your equilibrium then it happens, okay? Ace of Earth. <laughs> the inflow of abundance. A promising business venture. Yes, I'm doing this. Go ahead and leave the little emoji down. <laughs> emoji. Yeah. There, there is an emoji like this, right? I don't know. Uh, a promising business venture. Important documents or contracts. So if you play your cards right, so to speak, by the end of this week, you have a breakthrough. You have something that starts flowing again. And it's not going to be what you think. And they're even saying now a lot of the holdup would be people, um, again, pushing, trying to make things happen or thinking you know best and you don't. Let me just break that down. You don't know best. The universe and your soul know best. So you need to be tuned into that in order to make progress. All right. Violet. Why'd I say it like that? Because, let me find it. Where, where'd Zadkiel go? Violet is very Archangel Zadkiel kind of energy. This is your big how for this week. And that is, if you've ever heard of the Violet Flame Meditation, you can Google that. You can look it up on YouTube. Uh, this is Zadkiel kind of energy. So taking things that are just crowding up in your energy field, maybe stressing you. It could be being at odds with a situation, people, um, you know, at odds, it's like you're trying something and you get kicked back on. Something needs to clear because that's energy distortion. Now, it could be you putting stress into the situation. It could be you being the one who's projecting. It could be you the one who is afraid to look at your own actions or um, 
admit to yourself like, hey, I'm not feeling great about where I'm headed, you know, because that's really why we push. And I think for a lot of you watching this, it's like you're starting to lose hope uh, and maybe even losing faith in yourself, right? So this is, this is the activity that you can do to restore that, your confidence, right? The know-how by the Violet Flame Meditation. Again, you can look that up online. Create a balanced life. The number's 45, reduces to nine. Let's be done with this. Both of these talk about balancing and harmonizing. So that is how you're going to have your beautiful breakthrough. If you don't accept this, you'll keep struggling, okay? And and keep having conflict, all right? So we're gonna leave it there for the general part. Now you can go on and breathe into the heart space, see what group you are drawn to, whether you wanna go to one, two, three. You might feel three very strongly and a little bit of one, you can go back and watch that. I also encourage everybody to go back. You can come back to this throughout the entire week. You don't just have to watch it when I get it posted. You know, you can come back because each day you're going to be maybe drawn to a different group or even if you choose the same groups, the message is going to hit differently each day. Okay. I especially like listening to things at the end of the week to see how it played out because sometimes the angels are here to guide us. They're not here to interfere with our human free will and especially not to interfere with our, our contracts, our soul contracts. So the guidance comes in. It's meant for us to do something with it. And when you listen to a video, like one of mine, these angelic messaging videos at the end of the week, and you look back, that's often where a lot of the messages make the most sense. All right. So we'll leave it there. Again, I'm going to put up that video kind of explaining, a little, I guess, a little more in depth, all the live offerings, because I know they're all a little similar, but very different intentions behind them. So I will explain that if you want to go over there and check that out after you've chosen your group. Okay, let's get on to the groups. Hello, group one. Let's see what else is coming up for you. You got to go back and watch the first part. If you want to know what live offerings I am doing, I am doing live angelic training. Okay. So one is how for you as an individual to connect to your angels. Uh, it's tailored to you one-on-one. -on -one. I help you work through anything that's coming up in real time. Okay. And then I have angel mediumship, which is what I do here. So if you're a good candidate for that, uh, that is for one hour sessions. Again, all of that is being explained in the beginning of this video and I will put up a separate video as well for you to see that. All right, let's get on to your cards. Group one, what do you need to know? What's your deal? What's happening for you? <laughs> all right. Okay, Ten of Water. I don't know why I got I got so excited I couldn't even speak. <laughs> I'm okay. You're okay. We're all okay. It's going to be fine. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Here's why this felt like, ta-da, because you may not have had a whole lot of good fortune in this area. Maybe you have a hard time trusting people. Maybe you haven't opened your heart in a very long time for good reason. Something's breaking up in here. Let's get more of the story. Eight of air, you're busting out. <laughs> you, you can bust out. An illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. That's interesting. So this week, 
you're realizing or you're doing that deep soul work and, and having some breakthroughs around why maybe if you do have a hard time trusting, why is that? Or why do you see they're saying this too? a lot of us humans, we're not loving at full capacity. And that's a whole big discussion. Um, I'm a, ow, <laughs> just hit my hand. I'm a little short on time today, but I hopefully this week I can get back to answering all of your questions in video form. So let me know about that. But this back on this, some people only love to a certain capacity because that's the kind of love that they were modeled when they were younger or, you know, maybe you had a beautiful childhood and then you get out into the world and you realize not everybody's a good person or some people are functioning with darkness. Remember when we deny our soul light, that's when there's a void for the darkness to come through. So sometimes those actions, it's not to like say someone isn't accountable for their actions. Of course they are, but sometimes when darkness is working through that, you have to recognize that that's the thing that's trying to take your light. Not necessarily that person's soul self. Make sense? All right. So something has gotten you trapped. There's going to be some awareness around this. Four of Earth. You're going to have a hard time moving on here. Okay. Being too frivolous or too cautious with money. Good business decisions. Uh, giving to those less fortunate. You know what? Ooh. For some of you are. I'm going to give a very surface level kind of example here. Some of you might be in a bad relationship. And you know your heart wants to kind of break free. You want the happily ever after. You want the emotional fulfillment, but maybe you feel trapped in a situation and maybe you can't leave because of money. Okay, so that's just going to be a few of you out there. And for others, this could be just life in general. Wanting to, you know, feel freer, to feel like you can have more fun, like you can relax and getting out of survival mode. But maybe you feel trapped because you got to make ends meet. Or you feel trapped because, you know, I felt trapped when uh, rent here in Colorado Springs was being raised to this really unethical level. And even though they were doing something horrible, especially during the time that they were doing it, when everybody was kind of in trouble, um, you know, I felt like trapped. Like I got to, I got to follow their rules because... Like I'm stretched really thin with this rent and where else do I go, right? It could be a situation like that, but let's see what happens with this. Five of air, in an unwise choice, learning what you can from the situation, review everyone's motives. So the nice part of this, the part I got so excited about <laughs> is that you're realizing what you want. That's a huge first step. Then here comes all these other things, right? Where it's like, I got to figure out how I got here. I got to figure out why I went into this dynamic or um, financially, how did I get here? Or why did I rush into this living situation when it wasn't right for me? Or maybe you didn't know it wasn't going to be right. It just didn't turn out that way. But now you feel like you're in a loop. So go back and watch the first general part of this. Oh, there's your card already. Because... You're, you're, there's some sort of solution. First, it's the realization this week, and then there will be the solution. So we have Amber. Let me bring my microphone back to me. I keep bumping it away from me. Sorry. <laughs> Amber, awaken your creativity. The number is 15. Reduces to 6. So this is talking about fear around the 3D realm. So think about any material concerns, relationships. Again, home. Your, it does say creativity. Awaken your creativity. So maybe that is you're feeling stuck manifesting. Or if you are literally trying to work on a creative project, you figure out what's been holding you up, what's been making you fearful, and now you're able to work through it. And now you can awaken this. Which means uh, even if you're not working on a creative project, you can get back to a nice flow of energy. Watch the first part. Get into a nice flow of energy so that you can have your manifestations come to you much more effortlessly and feeling happy and balanced. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to group two. Hi there, group two. Make sure you go back and watch that first part, okay? So I have all my live offerings in there, uh, things that you might want to take. Of course, the standard readings are still available. You can still get those, but if you're wanting a 1010 reading and you try to go the standard reading route, you will not have it by October 10th. Not likely. I mean, I try, but it's not likely. Okay. 
what I had last year was everyone flooding in about five days. I have now I have a 25 day wait time. I try to get it to you faster, but that's just to give me some time to get through them on the standard readings. That does not apply to live readings. Okay. That's different. But I had people coming in like five days ahead, <laughs> like on October 5th and expecting me to put them to the front of the line and get them their 10, 10 reading. Not happening. Not happening. Your stuff is not more important than anybody else's. Okay, it is first come, first served. All right, so we have for you guys. You know, it, I was feeling like this energy of like, put your foot down. But I thought, well, I just kind of put my foot down about <laughs> people coming at the last minute and expecting their readings uh, in a certain time. So I kind of thought maybe that was influencing it. But no, it, it's for you. You're putting your foot down. This is great. Queen of Air, independent, experienced, realistic, witty. Objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. This feels like you've gotten to a place where you're like, this is absolutely laughable. If you've got somebody, for example, who thinks they have control over you or thinks like you're waking up to any narrative, you're seeing through the nonsense. Air, that would be swords. That's Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is the, he's the truth. He helps you see courage. He helps you speak your truth have the clarity, you know, feel like you can get through anything. So you're waking up to something this week, five of air, an unwise choice. So this might be a week of you taking accountability and accountability doesn't mean blame yourself. Accountability in my mind is just learn from why you went into something, right? Uh, an unwise choice, learn what you can from the situation, review everyone's motives. So, you know, I, I remember... <laughs> Feeling like I was in a world that was completely narcissistic because I was dealing with a lot of narcissistic abuse. And what I had to do before I could get away from that, instead of looking at everybody else and going, why do their brains work like that? Why do they think that's okay? Did you just manipulate me? Like, <laughs> instead of going, well, that's just the whole world, I had to stop and go, whoa, 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 whoa. what in me is bringing these people to me? Like, why do they think I'm the one to mess with? Was I wearing my heart on my sleeve a little too much? Did I come off as insecure and vulnerable so I could be fed upon? I'm easy prey. I didn't know what it was. But I started going in and I had to take accountability for being crumpled up in the corner, swatting at the air, waiting for the next horrible thing to come along. Right? That was the very thing that made it very easy for someone to come in and take advantage of that to pretend to be the savior. I bet a lot of you can relate to that. So keep that in mind. So this is something that perhaps you're looking at this week and breaking through because you got the world. And I knew that before I even turned the card over. I'm psychic. <laughs> so number is 21. Reduces to three. Three is freedom through your wisdom. It can also be seeing your, I don't know what this was, seeing your human existence from a higher perspective. Okay. And then the stuff doesn't really have that much control over you. And so now the whole world opens up for you. We have Archangel Michael. He's been here. He's been showing up. A job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path toward enlightenment. This tells me you figure something out. You figure something out. And I think you figure out something about yourself. You realize what that big block was. And you're able to come on through. Now, Seven of Air. This is going to be the tricky part. Like, especially in this deck. That reminds me of a merry-go-round there. So I always say when this when this particular deck, when this comes up, it's like hopping off the merry-go-round. But it says, plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. But the thing is, is I don't think you choose to keep going into that area. I think you realize what you have on your hands and you realize you have to come through that. I just hit my microphone. Sorry. Um, you realize what you need to do to make things better. Right. And again, that does have to do with taking accountability uh, and looking at your part in things. Again, not to blame, but how, how did I get here? Okay. Self-examination. It looks like you do it and you come on through. It's beautiful. Cyan. This is one of my favorite cards. This and magenta. I think it's because they're bright. Uh, build your confidence. The number is 35 reduces to 8. 
I think a lot of you who have chosen this group, I think you can relate to the narcissistic abuse. I think you can. And unfortunately, I mean, I've come across plenty of psychologists who are very supportive in looking at that. Um, yes, it does get overused and it does take away, you know, from the waters down the argument, right? Um, but I think, you know, I've also come across some therapists, I've had these therapists who probably were a little narcissistic themselves. And so when you want to talk about narcissistic abuse, they would gaslight you. I've literally experienced this. These are people who should not be practicing. They're doing more harm than good. But this is, again, I think you kind of, maybe for you it's not narcissistic abuse, but maybe it's something else about just not believing in yourself. Um, so you're getting that back. You're having some sort of breakthrough, getting your confidence back. But more, it's, see, a lot of people think that their breakthrough has to come from, now I have strength to tell someone off. Especially if you're dealing with a cluster B personality disorder person. They're not going to respond well to that. You'll never get through, okay? What you need to be aware of is restoring your energy, protecting your energy, not as a victim, not as a victim, not as a, oh, you're so disgusting, I have to protect my energy, but I keep allowing this and I will allow this no more. No one gets to feed. It can be immediate, that restoration, right? Like it's sort of, you just come back, you remember yourself. It could be that or it could take a little bit longer. But give yourself some time for that self-discovery. Yes. Someone who keeps pulling on you. Like, think about friends. Think about friends. Are they the ones that are only good to hang out with and have a drink? Or go get coffee with? Or, you know, do something kind of light and on the surface? Or are they the type of friend that you can go to when you're feeling down? Again, you're not trying to emotionally dump on anybody. But like... Yeah, there's got to be everything in balance, right? Is this someone you can say, hey, I'm having a hard time. And they make time for you and don't just talk about themselves, right? Or don't just sit there. It's the other thing too, like the fake nice people are like, oh, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. but the whole time they're like, when do I get out of this? Not a true friend. A true friend is going to care about you and want to make sure you're all right. These are, it's a beautiful week for you because you're having some very deep discoveries that will get you going in a different direction. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for you guys and get on to group three. Hi there, group three. Let's see what else is going on for you. If you did not watch the first part, you got to go back and watch the first part because that's the first part of your message. And I also explain all the new offerings that I have going on. I'll make a separate video to kind of go deeper into it. But lots of live sessions where you can get one-on-one -on -one training with me if that's something that you would be interested in. Of course, I'm still doing readings, so I do my standard readings, which you can go to the website, angelsouls444.com to get those. If you're trying to sign up for a 10-10 reading at this point via the standard, you're not going to have it by 10-10. You can still put it in, but you're not going to get it by October 10th, most likely. Just saying. If you want to guarantee that you have your reading by the 10-10 energy portal, sign up for a live reading. Those are at a different price point, but we can schedule those uh, beforehand. All right. Let's see what we have going on for you guys. Oh, and the live sessions, if you want more information on that, email me so I can kind of, especially for the angel mediumship course, I want to vet who's coming through because I'm not just teaching this to anybody to, to ruin the practice or whatever. We're not doing that. Angels won't let you do that anyway. Um, and the karma will just build up and come back on you. But we don't need people out there who came in with a negative energy. Again, I wouldn't teach them anyway. But let's say they figured out someone, they got someone to teach them. Uh, it's gonna, the karma's going to come back on that teacher. <laughs> and it's going to come back hard on them. And then what? Oh, that angel mediumship stuff. It doesn't work. I, it's evil. This is what people will do. It's evil because as soon as I started it, all these bad things started happening. It's because you were a jerk. Okay, that's why. <laughs> you didn't do it ethically. If you do things nicely, angels don't punish you like that. It's your own energy compounding within you and you're doing it to yourself. You know, they're, they're going to happily come in and help anybody who accepts their help. But not everybody gets that. All right. So let's see here. Did I even say the email? Angelsouls444 at gmail.com. <laughs> Sorry. All right. For real now, let's get your cards. Let's see what you guys have. 
Ten of Earth. This is very nice. A very happy family life. Financial security. Finding magic in the little things in life. This is, I mean, this in general for a lot of people is a lot of cleanup time. Emotional cleanup. Looking at our patterns. Where do I block my sense of security? Um, where do I allow my sense of security to be taken away? Do you have somebody who thinks that they control your life? They're going to control your peace. This is that kind of thing where you're like, nah. You don't do anything outwardly, not necessarily, but you have to realize it and then shut that down. You shut it down energetically. Uh, Eight of Earth, skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. This could be a new opportunity that pops up for you guys and it takes some training and it might be more money than what you have or it might be... Um, I don't know, just a new opportunity, more, I feel like it's more money. Or something is added on that relieves your financial burden. So, for example, if you're a freelancer uh, and you, sorry about the noise back in the background. If you're a freelancer and you have always had to pay for your own health insurance, maybe get a job where they cover that for you. You see what I'm saying? So, that could be something that's coming up. Two of air, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. Do not be burying your head in the sand. Okay. What this feels like with the eight of earth, you might be tempted to block out this opportunity because you say, oh, I can't do that. I don't know how to do that. I'm uncomfortable with it. This is going beyond your comfort level. <laughs> okay. It's going into a realm or giving yourself a chance to go into a realm uh, for expansion to see that you can, in fact, do it. But there could be a little bit of energy there of doubt where you're kind of back and forth. Page of Earth. See, you don't want to start over. I think that's the, the two of air here. I kind of want to, uh, to go back to school. I know, I got a master's degree. I don't, I've spent a good portion of my life in school. If somebody said go back and learn more, I'd be like, who are you talking to right now? Like, I'm not, mm -mm. So I understand. Um, but there is something, there's an opportunity maybe presenting itself this week that could have you um, feeling like you're starting over, like you're a fish out of water kind of thing. Uh, Page of Earth. Scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging. A new area of study. A new area of study. That's this eight of earth as well. So look at what that might be. Something brand new popping up for you. But don't just, you know, don't just say no because you haven't done it before. Oops, I'm dropping the cards. <laughs> because you've never done it before. Uh, open yourself up to the possibilities and your own potential. That's Archangel Shamuel. Shamuel helps you figure out how to get into your fullest potential, how to, um, you know, maybe get into something that you've been missing, right? What, and you can ask Samuel that, what is it that I'm not seeing? And you can ask Michael to come in and help with that as well. They help you figure all that out. Okay. All right. We have bronze strength in your body. The number is 14 reduces to five. This is, this is fortifying yourself. Remember, a lot of stress that comes through us, it's because we're not taking care of ourselves physically. If you already are in pain and then something adds on to that, then it's going to compound the pain. And you're going to, and it could be a nervous thing too, you know. So we want to make sure that you're grounded. First of all, you got all these earth cards. You're grounded. Um, strengthen just, I would say your body and mind. Because this could be a time where people are really pushing your boundaries, Pushing your boundaries, not being respectful, and then turning it around on you and saying that you're the one not respecting them. That's red flag behavior. We want to watch that. So the bronze says, no, no. I, I see your game. You're not pulling this with me. You have no control over me. You have no control over me. <laughs> right? So, you know, remember this. That way you're not, and I say that because this could be, uh, someone, I have these out of order now because I've been plucking them out all over the place. Uh, something like that. Um, because here you have this chance at a beautiful, prosperous existence. But there could be someone in here who's kind of like, I don't think you should do that. Or I don't think, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think you can be doing that. I don't think that's a good move. You know, so on and so forth. So, remember... Even if there's disruption, even if people are trying to sabotage you or it feels like they're trying to sabotage you, you have all the power. You have all the strength. 
they have none. You have control over your energy field. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending y'all so much love and take care.